Mm-hmm. Well, see, my understanding is, you know, we living single came first, and friends came second, and you know, well, I'll, I'll tell you. Well, so there's a lot of anger about that, like or a lot. Of, I should say anger, a lot of upset about. Here's a show about six twenty-somethings living in the city, trying to make it, but we're black. And then all of a sudden there was this show about six twenty-somethings living in the city, trying to make it, and they're white. And I've always thought it was a real coincidence that at the time the person who was in charge of NBC had said that if there's any show that I could have bought, I would have bought Living Single. And it turns out he bought it. He just it was just turned out to be friends. But what's really funny about that is that you know we were all up in arms like look at us and you know we don't make as much money as they do and we don't and that we don't get as much publicity as they do and it's not um, given the, the the proper due. What's funny is that I was uh, Erica Alexander who played Maxine on the show, and I went out to breakfast one morning. I wonder if she even remembers this. Eric Alexander, who played Maxine, and, and, and I went out to breakfast one morning, and we ran into Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, and I think Courtney Cox at some deli in Beverly Hills. And I remember going, oh, there goes the cast of Friends. We so came first. We're so hot. They had no clue who we were. And I was like making eye contact, like, uh, do you know who I am? <laughs> They had no clue. And, and, and we had talked about it in the press. We came first. They're not giving us our due. They had no idea. And I met Lisa Kudrow. Now, if you watch Living Single and if you watch Friends, you'll know that Phoebe and Sinclair are very close, very similar. They both sort of marched to the beat of their own drummer. I'm sure some people thought that she was dumb and I, would, I was dumb, but my character wasn't really dumb. She was just sort of unusual and weird and airy-fairy. I mean, they're dead on. One's white, one's black. So I was determined to meet her and I said, hi, my name is Kim Cole. She was like, okay, hi. I was like, she doesn't know who I am. I said, I'm from that other show. And she was like, okay, nice to meet you. I mean, it wasn't rude or anything, but she had, it was like, Vroom. and here it was in our world. It was like, how dare they take our idea? And they were like busy doing their thing and making their money. So I, that's when I got over my, I was like, what feud? There's no feud. They're kicking butt and we're doing our thing and let's just make our money and do our thing. So. Room for everybody. There's room for everybody, but she was so like, and like I said, I'm I'm, I'm on that other show, and she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was, it was, I was so embarrassed. If you like the Boomer Two, why not subscribe? And to see the full interview, check out our Patreon page to become a member. We upload new exclusive content every single week, and you can access our library easily. Thanks.